Family members and friends remember the 15 year old girl whose body was found here less than one week ago. Fifteen year old Jania Tatum Scott was described by friends and family as energetic, charming, as having a huge heart, and someone that will always have your back. She attended Sterling High School and was on the varsity track scene. She recently competed in cross country this fall at the Clear Lake Falcon Invitational in the Galveston Island Beach Run. Jania also won first place in the high jump during her freshman year, with her school taking to Twitter to post video footage of her accomplishment. She had a love for children, leading to her aspirations of becoming a pediatrician and was loved by teachers, coaches, the administrative staff, as well as her principal. Sadly, Jania would never return to finish the second half of her first year of high school. Just three days after Christmas, around 8.15 a.m., a local resident going for a morning walk would discover the unthinkable. It is the body of a girl under the age of 18 that was discovered this morning. And he also assured that right behind those doors, there is a team hard at work to find the killer. We're told that the disturbing discovery was made around 8.15 this morning in the middle of the park. The body of an unidentified injured girl is being investigated as a possible homicide. This after investigators say that they were called there to find the unresponsive girl laying on the ground. And we're told that that officer immediately called called Baytown EMS, but the girl was pronounced dead from her injury. The body was soon confirmed to be that of 15-year-old Jania Tatum Scott. Initially, police were unsure as to how long she had been deceased and her cause of death. Remembering the life of a 15-year-old who was loved by so many people. She was a star athlete, a sophomore at Sterling High School. Now at the same field where she was found, a memorial grows in her honor. Tuesday morning around 8 a.m., Baytown police found the teen's body in the middle of Tejas Park. The family says Jania was found with a gunshot wound. When officers arrived, they said the girl was unresponsive and pronounced dead at the scene. Now they are looking for a possible offender and are asking the public for help. Jania's uncle, Billy Snell, says finding her body at Tejas Park makes it harder for the family to grieve. It's going to be very hard to get through this. And, and being so close to home, that, that's another thing that, that makes it so difficult, that it's just literally not even a block uh, away from where we live that something tragic like this can happen. Her uncle says she was loved by many, describing her as energetic and charming. Huge heart, like I said, which again just makes this so, so confusing. How, why, it, it just, it's just mind blowing. Her friends say it was hard for them to make the trip, but said they know it's what she would have wanted. You could tell her nothing. And if she was here right now, she would tell me, stop crying. <laughs> Jania's heartbroken mother said she last saw her daughter alive around 11 p.m. before going to bed and did not realize she was missing until she woke up at 5 a.m. the next morning to go to work. She believes her daughter went out to meet someone and left a half-eaten plate of food behind. She's always with me 24-7. If I'm not at work, we're together. She's not at her friend's house. She's with me. Everybody loved her. She's a very outgoing person. That was my best friend. She described Tejas Park as one of Jania's favorite places. With the park being located right across the street from her apartment, it was easy for her to spend a significant amount of time there. Following her passing, family and friends gathered at Tejas Park, the very same park where she lost her life, for a balloon release and to honor her memory. As the sun sets on Tejas Park in Baytown, family members and friends remember the 15-year-old girl whose body was found here less than one week ago. And I know we're all so proud of her for how far she got. She always had everyone's back. She will never let you down. You can always count on her to go to me. Tonight, her friends and family members gathered to say goodbye to Janiyah and ask for help finding her killer pledging their support for a mother whose daughter is gone. I want it to be the last time that we looking down on one of our relatives. I want us to take the two minutes that is given at a service to speak to the family and let the family know that we need to stop looking down at each other, that we need to face each other while we living, give the flowers while we living. A GoFundMe was created by her mother to assist with her funeral expenses.
Police are now asking for the public's help as they try to put together a timeline of Jania's last movements. As of right now, no suspect or motive has been identified, and it is unclear as to whether this was a random act of violence. If you're responsible for this, the very best thing you can do for yourself, for the victim, the victim's family, and the community of the city of Baytown is to turn yourself in without further delay. The detectives are doing an investigation right now for her social media. Whatever happens, happens. Whatever they did to my baby, I want them to pay for that. We love you. 